Hey everybody, welcome back to Squirrel Stampede Gaming. This is episode 43 of Squirrel Stampede Plays Minecraft. Where are we? We are somewhere in a very dense forest, possibly a squirrelific outpost. Today we have so much to accomplish as we are very behind in gaming over at Minecraft right now. Oh, there's so many things on my list to do. One of the first things we have to do is I need some bones for these dogs. I don't have any bones. I'm so sorry, guys. I've got some uh, some rotten flesh. Do you guys take rotten flesh yet? No, I need to befriend you. Anyhow, haven't got there yet. We are right at the precipice. Is that the word? Right word of a lush cave. Look at that. Wow. Wowzer, right over there. We are about, I would say, a map's worth of clicks south no. from the main squirrel house over here in this forest. So if you follow this arrow straight for a little while, that way you would return to our main squirrel house zone. Yeah. Uh, it's just me solo today. I've got to catch up uh, and then we will have everybody join back in soon. Uh, but today, my main mission is to catch up on some resources. I'm really behind on resources. I've been in the nether a ton lately, behind the scenes, trying to find a fortress, which we have finally found. But now that we need to get inside the fortress, I have literally nothing to protect myself. So I found this lush cave over here a while ago and exploring, and I thought, okay, this would be a great spot to pick up some neat stuff. <laughs> We've got a a fox stuck on the ledge there. We've got a wandering trader stuck on the ledge there. So it is it is quite uh, a mess over here. So what, what shall I bring with me? Um, I'm going to need some wood. Okay, I've got plenty of wood. I've got torches. Uh, I should be able to get some coal down there, but I'll bring a little bit with me. I don't need these mossy things with me. It, you collect a lot of moss in a lush cave, that's for sure. Um, maybe grab some extra meat too and um, you know as many pickaxes as I can some extra wood would help extra wood would help but yeah you can kind of see this is my little squirrel outpost uh, at one point I had tried to put a uh, portal over here thinking I could get to a different spot of the nether it didn't pan out but what did pan out was this nice little area it's pretty neat looking uh, oh let's uh, just for the sake of being careful, add on some armor. Don't really have much else on me. And we will try to uh, see if we can get down here. It's, a, it's actually not too hard at all. There's a couple good spots. What is that? Right there. Oh, that's just some of that lichen or whatever, that light up stuff. Made a little tree, a tree spiral right there. You can climb up there and take a look at everything, but nothing too spectacular. So, um... This guy's stuck over here. Let's kind of go over here a little bit and continue on. So just over here, over to this waterfall. It seems like the easiest way in and out of this cave. We'll hop down this way. Although it's a little dangerous because you can kind of fall on the inside of this waterfall. If I were to go over here more, ouch, it hurts. Oh, there's some iron right there too. Anyhow, we can just kind of splash down onto the pad here. Oh, we've got our first giant slime. Giant slime like to uh, congregate over in this area. I don't know if I could put up a few more torches, if that would help. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of these guys. And now I've got a lot of these guys. Ow, that hurt. Thanks a lot, buddy. I think I'm going to have a, a lot of jello here for my squirrel house floor. If I want to increase the size of our trampoline down there. Our slimaline. So, okay, look at that. We are in the bottom of this great lush cave. I'd also like to pick up one of those really pretty pink lush flowers for my squirrel house. I think that would be great to have. Maybe a couple. I think there's some in here. If we can ever stop attacking all these slime cubes. Come on, guys. No more slime. They're so annoying and pesky. Right now, I see right off the top. Let's grab this. Um, let's grab some iron. I need a lot of iron, especially if I invite Lazy Kitty and Ben Ultra and Squirrel Girl Stampede into the the fortress with me in the nether, we need to like outfit ever another slime. Are you kidding me? Why are there so many slimes down here? Do you guys just keep respawning? Oh my gosh, and I'm gonna die down here because these slimes just won't let me leave for just half a second. Oh, come on, slimes. 
I hope that's our last slime. I thought, I thought, okay, two big slimes would be enough. Ahem. <clears throat> anymore. Is there any more big slimes around here? I do not see any. Ha, huh, okay. But like I was saying, if I invite a bunch of people to help me into the nether, we're going to need to be outfitted with a lot of gear. And I just used it all up. Um, it takes about 2,000 blocks worth of traveling just to get to the fortress. It is insane. It is insane travel. And that will be our next episode, of course, getting to that fortress. And we will try to hit that in a week's time so that everything moves a little quicker. Uh, because we've got a lot to accomplish there. But right now, man, I have nothing, nothing to show for armor. So any type of um, iron that I can find is so welcome. And I can't even get to it because the water is flushing me away. Okay, let's get some food here. That was a lot of work for just that little bit of iron. I see some more though. I see some more iron. Let's go get it. Let's go get it. Too bad you can't turn slime into iron. That sounds like something Gargamel would do on the Smurfs. He can turn Smurfs to gold, and then he can turn slime into iron. All right, oh, uh, another one, but that's a little medium-sized one, so not as bad. And like I said earlier, it's really easy to accidentally like collect some of this stuff, some of these uh, lush items. So let's wander over here. Oh, look at their axolotls. Oh, how cute. We've got a yellow one. Oh my goodness, let's get a picture of me standing next to them. Hey everybody, where are they? There they are! There they are! Hey! Oh, they're so cute! And guess what? Another slime cube! <laughs> Slimes! Stop it! I'm trying to commune with the axolotls! I'm trying to commune with them! There they are! Wait, that's a, that's a lily pad. There they are! Oh, two yellows and a pink! I am in desperate search for the um, Portal Series 3 wave uh, axolotls. I found everything else for Wave 3 Portal, but these guys, they run about $30 or $25 on like a eBay uh, for a finder's fee, which is kind of frustrating. Um, sometimes more with the shipping, so I'm like, oh, do I, uh, what do I do? Do I pick those up that way or do I just eventually find them at Walmart? So stay tuned for that. Definitely going to get to there soon. <laughs> is that a yellow one out of the water? I've never seen a brown one. It's got to be a yellow one. Get in the water. Let's see what you look like. Bloop. Oh, it is a brown one. I didn't know they could come brown. I thought it was just yellow, pink, and blue. So there's brown axolotls? Huh. I did not know that. Now let's add a torch and let's kind of continue on this way. I've only gone a few clicks in that direction in this cave and I haven't really gone this direction. So we'll see what we got. Um, add some more torches in here. Make it as safe as we can. Why won't the torches go on the wall? There we go. Um, this looks like a really sketchy place for a zombie to just appear. Uh, you know, as I fall into a... Oh, there's so much water in here. As I fall into a little marsh, marshy spot. Let's grab this iron. How many irons are we going to get today? This means I have 15 blocks of iron in my storage. Let's kind of head over here. Oh, I could actually use coal too. Um, coal is definitely something I'm out of. I'm out of pretty much all the basics. I did some things in the um, journey to the fortress of the nether and you will see that soon. It is the longest pathway. It takes like five sandwiches just to get to the fortress. And then we will have to build like a nether squirrel house or something over there. Maybe a portal out into the overworld from that point. We would be like thousands of clicks from from where we are here uh, but that would be certainly helpful so continuing here get as much ore as I can can't wait to pick this stuff up this has been a good cave for um, resources I need lots of resources as much as I can get much more that's a that was a good iron haul right there was that like at least eight pieces we're now at 24 pieces of iron I really want to get at least 60 for a stack in this episode and then um, we can then head on over to the nether in episode 30, 44, I guess that would be. Mm, there's some stuff up there. I need to get that stuff, but I want to also kind of, this looks sketchy over here. looks like zombies would appear anywhere in this area. Let's see, how am I going to get that? I'm going to have to build a little bridge. Did I bring any dirt with me? Oh, I didn't bring any dirt. Uh, one block of dirt. 
but I can use some of this wood, I suppose. That wouldn't be that horrible to use, so we'll just kind of tower up this way and grab some of this wall iron. That's one piece, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe eight over here. That's worth what? A nice little tunic? <laughs> tunic piece? Uh, do I just, uh, I guess I'll just kind of dig this down. Do I have an axe on me? Nothing quicker than breaking. Oh, I have a bone. When did I get that bone? That's cool. I hope those doggies are still there. I'd love to get a little dog pet over here at the outpost. I think that would be pretty neat. I see some fish down there. I did not kill a skeleton, so I don't know where that bone came from. Unless it came from earlier. Uh, okay, continuing on. I got plenty of coal. Let's make myself a few torches. I don't want to get untorched. All right, so there really isn't much over on this corner as much as I thought. We have to go the other direction to get more into the cave of Lush. This cave is so cool. What is that water doing? That is weird. I guess it's a little bit of a waterfall, but it's kind of like an inner fall. Um, hmm, that's interesting. It shouldn't do that, I don't think. It should have a wall there. Got plenty of glow berries. I once tried to, oh, creeper, 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 move, 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 ouch. Got like stuck behind something. Oh, and it's nighttime. I didn't realize it was nighttime and I didn't bring my bed. Hmm, I didn't plan this out very well. Uh, I gotta eat something really quick. There's gonna be creepers dropping from the sky. I'm gonna take a quick little break. I'm gonna hide in here for a second and we're gonna wait out the night because there's gonna be creepers dropping on my head. I can totally see it. So let's take a five minute break and we'll be right back. Okay, I think we've made it to the morn. Only had a little bit of a skeleton encounter. Uh, nothing too bad, got an extra bone. Found a couple more pieces of iron, nothing too exciting. So let's try the other end of this cave now that all the uh, slime cubes have reformed themselves. I need to make a nice little outpost over here somewhere too, because I know I'm going to die and lose everything I just worked so hard for. I did lose an iron sword, I think, so I got to kind of maybe smelt up some of this iron I've made and made, make some better armor. <laughs> what is with this? This is the episode of slime cubes. Gosh, slime. Why are there so many down here? It must be very lushy for the slimes to grow and all this green greenery. <laughs> At least they're not as bad as uh, magma cubes. Magma cubes. Had enough of those for a long time. Okay, so I'm gonna put a crafting table here and a uh, box there and kill that guy there. <laughs> Um, and just put in some of my iron. I've already got 38 pieces of iron. I don't want to lose that. And I don't want to lose these bones either because maybe we can get that dog to be a friend. Uh, so that, that makes me feel a little safer as we continue on. Let's take half the, um, the coal out too. So this is a good little spot at the bottom here. Well, not really the bottom, but a good little spot to put this table as I don't think the slime cubes come up here as much as they do over down there. So this corner over here is another great place to explore. Oh, there's one of my flowers. I got to get that flower. I love these. Uh, they're the coolest things. If this slime cube doesn't bother me too much, let's take you out and your three siblings. It would be kind of cool if they made different color slime cubes. Wouldn't you think like if they made like a yellow slime cube and a red one? I think that would be kind of cool someday. Um, what, where did I see this flower? There it is. It's right here. Let's get this flower and we can put it inside the squirrel house at some point. Uh, I'm gonna need some wood again to make a little scaffolding. Well, it's not scaffolding. I don't have any bamboo, but this should do it. Hop, 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 hoppity hop, hop. Where is it? Ah, oh, there it is. Yay. Did I get it? Is it in my inventory? It is, it's in my inventory, yay, okay. That's always good to have. I really should make an axe. That's what I really should be making. Here I'm trying to get flowers and I don't have an axe. That should be good enough though, right? One more. I don't want to fall and twist an ankle. Okay, let's do that. And uh, I'm gonna run over to my box and put my flower in there because I don't want to lose that pretty flower. Ah, there is so much liquid here. 
Okay, over here, we'll drop this in. And I got some fish there too. A spore blossom flower, that's what they're called in full. Kind of tricky to get sometimes. But once you get them, they sure liven up the place. In fact, I should get a few of these azalea bushes too. They're quite pretty. And that's a good way to find a lush cave too if you never found one. If you see one of those flowery bushes on the surface of the overworld, you know you are very close. Okay, so I have gone in here a little bit. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff in here. Uh, let's grab these. Anything iron is certainly needed. I also really could use some gold. Um, I'm really low on gold. I used up a lot of it uh, trying to decoy myself from the piglins. Piglins, ah! Where did you come from? Ugh. Look, it's a biggie. They're always big when they're right on you, right? Oh, come on. Kind of hang on over in this corner here. Oh, this is the episode of slime. It's supposed to be the episode of Lush Caving, but here it is, is the episode of Slime Cubing. Oh, there's so many, it's so frustrating. Oh, and I lost, oh, I'm gonna have to build a better sword. You guys are just trouble. Trouble, 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 okay. There we go. I'm going to build another crafting table over here now, apparently, because I need, oh, that's funny, I need some swords. And maybe another pickaxe. Um, that should do pretty good. Have some baked potato. I had, had real life baked potatoes last night. Ooh, is that another flower? I oh, a geode! A flower and a geode. I kind of forgot about that. I did see that earlier and I forgot. Let's go take a look at this. Maybe we can find some amethyst. Um, how am I doing this? Making like a little bridge over here. I had plenty of wood left over from my carvings. Wait, where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay, um, the flower is right there. So let's get our flower first. Yeah, our second flower. I'm gonna put up a light right here. And let's dig into this thing and see what we got. We got some interesting magma formations down there. This cave could go down very far. Um, let's see what we got. The one thing I don't believe I have as much crystal. I'd really like to make a telescope. Oh, look at all the amethyst crystals. Cool. Did I get one? Did I get a crystal? I got a uh, block of amethyst. Do I need to have uh, iron to knock those out? I might need to have an iron pickaxe. Oh wait, I have an iron pickaxe. Let's try that again. Nothing yet. Uh, let's try this one. There we go, there's some crystals, yeah, cool. Always good to find this stuff. And it sounds so cool. All right, so let's actually put another, I'm gonna put another chest right here. I hate losing the idea of losing stuff. I know my chest is just over there, but let's put another chest right here if I have enough uh, wood for one and I can put my extra flower and some crystal in here. Always good to just kind of slowly uh, stock things up instead of die. Look at all this slime I have, that's ridiculous. Uh, there's the other flower. Okay, so let's continue on just a little more here, a little more, see if we can find some interesting things. There's a lot of water down here. What happens if we go through the geode over to this side? Was there anything over here? Mm. They're just kind of up high. Drop some torches in there. I didn't mean to throw two, but there, that's how it was. Okay. So this way a little more. There's a lot of water. There's a lot of life in this little cave pond. Really curious if there's something under those uh, magma blocks. Okay, yeah, we found some more iron. This is going to be so helpful. As we get back into the nether, I want to have full iron armor if I try to get some uh, nether wart at this fortress. I just don't know, is it going to be an easy fortress run or is it going to be a hard one? Um, I'm in a good spot. When you when you see the fortress I found, I'm in a good entrance spot. But we'll, we just don't know for sure. I have not poked my head in there other than find it and kind of see, see it. Alright, so I think the cave is going to go down this way a little more. And I see some more iron, so that's good. Grab this. 
Next chunk of iron. Ooh, is that lapis? I so need lapis. I'm so low on lapis too. And I definitely want to uh, drown trying to get this lapis. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm just getting sucked into the water here. I gotta pre plan this out differently. Okay, so first, let's put a block here. And where's that water falling into? Let's try to do this somewhat smarter. Maybe I can come from the top. That might be better. Let's try that. Because I certainly need some uh, lapis. I'm down to like, say, maybe half a stack or even less than that. And I'd like to be able to enchant some armor when we hit, hit the nether. So that is a great find. Awesome. All right, so let's continue on. Oh, skeleton! He was looking at me. And, oh, there's lots of mobs down there. How are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? Well, the first thing I kind of want to do is make this waterfall safer. Oh, he's coming up to me. He's like, hey, I have not seen life in so long. I want to kill it. Okay. Um, trying to figure out the best way to fortify. Where did he go? He's gone. He's probably going to come around from this side and get me. Oh, more iron. What do I do first? Do I get the skeleton or do I get the iron? I gotta get the iron. I'm not too worried about him yet. Double piece. Triple piece. Okay, okay. So back to skeleton hunting. Kind of need to make this area a little safer. It is not exactly how I want this. How am I gonna get down over here? Oh, there he is. There oh, he's wearing a nice mesh hat. It's a very pretty hat you got there. Oh, haha, ha, I've got the high ground. I was the chosen one. Um, <laughs> he's right in the corner there. I hate fighting them with a uh, stone sword. That was kind of dumb of me. Look at all these tropical fish. This is such a cool cave. Um, I'm going to go over here real quick. And I think I, I meandered into there. Oh, how did I miss that gold before? It was a while ago. A long time ago, I had found, I had meandered into here, but I don't remember why I didn't get that gold and why it's still there. Maybe it just fell again or something. Okay. So we're trying to get down here as the safest way we can. I mean, you always want to have an exit, an exit plan in these caves. That's the most important thing, especially if you get something really cool like that bone over there that I didn't get. Okay, we got a spider coming up. We got a spider. Cave Spider 101. I'd take Cave Spider 101 over, um, what's it called? Slime Cubes. He's a little low. Let's get some more light in here. Get some more light. There's another one of those brown. Oh, there he is. Here, buddy. Come on over here. Can you climb that? This is not the most brightest cave spider. I say that and he's gonna kill me now. I can't, I can barely reach it today. Okay, come here. Come here, you. <laughs> yes, I don't like you. You're scaring the axolotls and you're scaring the tropical fish. He's like, don't kill me. I'm a nice spider. Okay, we cleared that out. And I wanna see if I can grab this bone and add some more light down here. Oh. What did I fall into? A little bog there. Jump. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, I can even get a nice little headscarf. I'm gonna put that on because I did not really have myself anything. It's it's almost broken. <laughs> what do you think about my headscarf there? Hello there! What do you think? Pretty nice, huh? Pretty nice headscarf. Yes, yes it is. That's a beautiful headscarf. Okay, let's continue on. Hey, let's sneak our head around the corner here. This isn't really going to be the most easiest cave to get out of. I've, it's really tight over here. I'm going to go for this iron though. Any iron I could use. I mean, I need a stack of iron today. I think I'm getting close to one, but in reality, I'm gonna need like four stacks um, to really get my crew into this uh, fortress. This is a like, Axolotl Cave Central. Oh, it's a baby pink one. Oh, he's so cute. You're the cutest. Oh, he's so sweet. 
Did anyone see a blue one yet? I have not seen a blue. I know they're a little more rare, right? Is the blue one the rare one? I always get them confused as who's rare. Could not hit the slime if I tried. Okay, we're getting back into this corner. Then yeah, I kind of worried. Uh, this this feels like a moment a creeper would come out and get you. Come on, I'm having the hardest time gauging distances today. Okay, some more iron. Yes, more iron. Ooh, a good set of it too. A nice seam. What was that? Six pieces. Pretty good. Kind of didn't pan out as good as I thought at first. Maybe this one will pan out too. One, two, three. Eh, not the greatest. We're really clogged into. Oh, another flower! I didn't see that. I'm taking you. They're like, you're ruining our lush cave. There's nothing left to be lush about. One flower, up oh, one more block height, maybe. There we go. Grab these while I'm up here. Okay, oh, there's another bone I missed. Where's the flower over here? Don't you dare eat that flower, dude. Do axolotls eat flowers? Is there something I should feed the axolotls that I don't know? Am I supposed to give them like a uh, fruit roll up or something? And then they like befriend me like a, a puppy. That is so cute, the pink one and the yellow one and the little white one with the pink tail. You guys are so cute. Let's get another like group shot of me um, hunting these down. There we are. There I'm standing in front of. Oh, they're so cute. Look at that pink one. Oh, hello, hello, my friends, my friends, my axolotl friends. Okay. Um, now where? <laughs> This cave isn't panning out as large as I thought. Sometimes that's a thing with lush caves. They're really odd. They can be so odd. I found a pretty good bounty so far. Oh, there's some more iron there. How did I miss that? More tropical fish party. Oh, and another bone over here. Let's grab that. Two bones over here. There's something going on over here. I'm missing. Oh, okay. ah. All right, let's grab this stuff right here. My iron pickaxe is almost broken. I shouldn't have been using it for all the basics. This feels like a pretty good seam right here. Okay, I like it. Am I out of uh, iron? I mean, am I out of... Uh, Got some diorite. Whoop! Did I get it all? This is kind of a really awkward cave spot. Okay, I think I got it all. Tropical fish! You guys are cute. Uh, there's another bone over here. Did I get that bone? Was that the bone I was trying to get before? Um, what are these like? Are these like um, vampire fish? Are they gonna like tear me apart. They're really quite cool. Let's let's see what they look like underwater. Hey, fishies! You guys are the coolest fishies! Look at that. There's a purple and green, a purple yellow one, and a pink blue stripe, and a white spotted, and another giant slime. Let's get the sword ready. Oh, maybe he can't fit over here because it's so, it's so, um, tight in here. Well, oh, more iron. I gotta get over there. More tropical fish. I think I can go around this pillar. I've been watching too much Outback Opal Hunters on uh, on Discovery Plus lately. Anybody watch that show? It's very interesting. It reminds me. Ah <laughs> yeah, where did you come from? You're trying to avenge your friend, huh? You're like, you killed Bob. He was a good spider. Oh, good. Get a snack here before I continue on. And on. let's grab some of this iron. So 
So it's been a pretty good lush caving today. I'd, I'd say, I'd say we saw some axolotl. We saw some really cool uh, roof flowers. We've encountered a couple spiders. We've seen way too much slime. And this side of the cave has already kind of been done through. Kind of bummed. I thought I thought it would go deeper. I think if this goes any deeper, um, it would be over here. I hate to do. I hate to swim too much down here. Let's kind of just poke our head through here. Um, oh, this water is so murky. I cannot see anything. Oh, okay. Ah. Uh oh. Yeah. It's it's. Why is the water so murky? Has anyone ever encountered that before? Usually it's nice and clear. Let's um drop off some stuff before we do something really stupid. Let's drop over here. What do we got for our iron now? 48 pieces. So I'm pretty sure we've gone way over um, a stack, which is good. Um, lots of tropical fish, lots of slime, spider eye, a couple flowers for the squirrel house some lapis so we've got some good stuff going here even some gunpowder from a creeper earlier in the night plenty of bones maybe we can finish off the episode i can run back up to the the uh, little outpost and see if we have any uh, dogs to befriend okay so if i go down here really quick i do not know why i cannot see look at that there is no there is no clarity down here that is so weird a little bit but nothing to be safe about I can't go down there without getting killed so that's kind of a bummer you can kind of see feels like it goes it goes in a little bit I was wondering if there's a spot to kind of go under and then back up but not really so that's just not safe so let's take our stuff back to our squirrel post and uh, feed a bone to a dog feed a dog a bone if, it, if they're still there hopefully we can get a dog friend so let's grab everything in this chest that we need. Maybe I'll put some stuff that we don't need back into this chest. Yeah, we definitely don't need um, all this debris. Oh wait, I want these azalea bushes. They're pretty. Um, could always use a spider eye, so there we go. All right, so let's kind of venture back this way. I just, there's nothing more satisfying than breaking um, that stuff, mossy stuff. Another azalea bush for the house. And we'll head over here, grab what we had found earlier. La la la. Oh, another piece of iron. Anybody? Now's your chance to guess. How much iron did we collect? How much iron did we collect in total? We collected a stack and a quarter or a third or something like that. Pretty good. Um, that's enough to keep us going a little more. Now, what, what can I leave here? I, calcite, don't really need that. Smooth basalt, definitely needed our flour. Um, some berries, that arrow is always nice to collect. Uh, don't need all of that clay, definitely need that iron. There we go. Okay, so let's venture back up. Hopefully it's not too close to um, night. I think it's getting close, but we'll have enough time to race back over here. Splashy, splashy. There's some uh, iron under the waterfall. That's going to be tricky to get. Oh, maybe if I just do it right here, I can grab that. I mean, that right there is a helmet's worth. So totally worth it. If I can get... Oh, whoa! Secret tunnel! Secret tunnel! Secret, not really, it's more like secret crevice. Secret crevice! Um, <laughs> there's nothing down here. Oh, well, 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 hang on, hang on. Oh, I hear something. It, ugh, this is so awkward. Ah, if I could just break this one block, there we go. And if I can just break these. Secret crevice! Secret crevice! Do I have any? Um, I've got all my stuff. i got to be very careful here. Um, I'm not drowning, am I? Okay, no. Um, I need torches. Um, so I'm just going to say goodbye to this arrow. And then I can make a few torches. I hear something nearby. i got to be really careful. Okay. Oh, a torch there. 
All right, so let's sneak into the secret cave. Secret cave. Well, got some uh, really interested. What's down there? It's gonna go down a little bit. Um, just gotta make it a little safer. Grab that since I just used some of my coal. Nice to have a little extra coal. Secret tunnel! Secret tunnel! A little bit of a granite pocket. And just a little corner of um, some glow stuff. Unless this, you know, opens up somewhere. I don't know. This lush cave could certainly be larger. I'm sure there's another wing or edge to it. Uh, but we did not find it. Of course, now that we've wasted time, it's probably going to be nighttime outside. Let's see what we can do here. We can get back out. Oh, let's grab this while we're here. I sure get, I sure get um, distracted really easy, don't I? But I have not gone resource hunting in so long. Pretty good amount of coal right here. Oh, lost another pickaxe. There we go. Plus I got a lot of uh, experience points today, so that'll help create some uh, new tools if I don't die. Enchant some things up. All right, so what do we got? It's probably nighttime now that I've wasted time in my secret crevice. All right, up we go. Oh, no, we've still got some daytime. Ah! Up we go. Up we go. Up the tall, tall waterfall. Up we go into the sky. So what song do you like better? Secret tunnel! Secret tunnel! Or up we go into the wild waterfall. Um, both the songs are probably prohibited from ever being played on the internet again. Okay, so there. There we go, we kind of explored around the central part of the cave. Let's see if those puppies are still by my camp. Most likely they moved on, but you never know. You never know what might happen here. It's a pretty cool cave, definitely think it's larger. It definitely must go um, in different directions somewhere. It's just finding that, you know. But we found plenty of things and the puppies are gone, rats. Uh, let's check our chest here. I'm gonna throw this stuff in right now to keep it safe before I get hit by a creeper. Only one piece of gold to the 12, 13 I found earlier. The lapis was a great find. The spore blossoms were awesome. And even even I got a few glow berries. Ah, and that amethyst, also good to get. I know where to get more amethyst now. So that, I think, is what we did today. A little bit of time in the cave of lush oh there's the dog let's see if we can go over there and get it do i have the bones yes i have the bones oh no wait there's another one okay hey buddy you want to join my team yeah i joined my team we're gonna have some awesome times come on over here come on over here yay we got a doggy that's cool i'm glad we were able to uh have a friend out here because again we're kind of uh, far from camp, we're about a map's worth of blocks away from the squirrel house over here in our little camp. Anyhow, that's about what we can do today. We've accumulated some great supplies so that we can continue on next time. We will spend an hour or so in the fortress. We are going to walk an incredible distance that I mined through the nether. You're not going to believe what we did. It's crazy how to get there. We will set up camp over in our uh, nether location near a fortress, which is somewhat sketchy, but I think we'll be pretty safe. We'll probably activate a ruined portal that we found right next to the fortress, which we can then get out to the overworld in case there's a catastrophe, because that is such a long walk to get there. And then we're going to get into that fortress and find that nether wart which we can start making potions and then we are really close to looking for that stronghold 
and then finding an ender dragon, right? That's what we got to do. In the next few weeks, we are going to go for it as hard as we can. Uh, next week, we should have Lazy Kitty and Ben Ultra back. Uh, I will probably spend a little more time at these mines and clear them out a little more, get some more resources, because we need a lot of resources. But anyway, we got a new dog, so we're happy about that. Thank you so much for watching today. If you have not given us a squike or a squirrel live or a squamant, please do so and join in on the fun. All right, we'll see you next time in the fortress of the nether.